Good day. It is with this video that I, Sylvester Volani Madala Mangolele, request the services of the South African Human Rights Commission. I do this in accordance with the Constitution and the law. I ask this of any member or employee employed in the South African Human Rights Commission to consider the aggravating reality in relation to the human rights of Sylvester Volani Madala Mangolele in the Republic of South Africa. I would do this in writing as I have done numerous times. It was not responded to because I was looked at just only as an individual but not as a citizen of the Republic of South Africa whose rights must be respected, promoted, protected and fulfilled. I am humbled before you in service and defense of my country and its people in accordance with the Constitution and the law. The Constitution imposes an obligation on me to act in accordance with it. Each time I execute my duties. It is the same notion that I expect or request from the South African Human Rights Commission. The, so the objects of the Commission are in terms of Section 2 of the South African Human Rights Commission sect. And those are mandated to all staff of the South African Human Rights. It is not a matter of where you have to agree with your boss to say no it's mango lele leave him alone leave him alone don't help him no it is a person coming to you requesting for services in respect of the act this particular government gazette number 37253 issued on 22 January 2014 in Cape Town by the President. The Act is to provide for the composition, powers, functions and the functioning of the South African Human Rights Commission to provide for the repeal of Human Rights Commissions Act of 1994 and to provide for matters connected therewith. This is one of those matters where Mango Lele comes to the South African Human Rights Commission requesting for his human rights to be respected by General Rozane Mapuanya, who is obligated in terms of Section 2G of the Defense Act to respect my human rights. But he is not doing it. He acts personally against me following the persecution that has been instigated by General Solishoke on 8 August 2018 and Vice Admiral Samuel Longwane who did not act diligently to achieve these current aggravating circumstances that brings me to the South African Human Rights Commission. Since section 1811B and 
184 read with item 20 of schedule 6 of the constitution of the republic of south africa 1996 provide that the south african human rights commission established in terms of section 115 of the constitution of the republic of south africa 1993 act number 200 of 1993 continues to function in terms of the legislation applicable to it and for the conferring of certain powers and the assignment of certain functions to the commission and since the commission provides that the south african human rights commission must promote respect for human rights and a culture of human rights promote the protection development and attainment of human rights monitor and assess the observance of human rights in, re in the republic and annually require relevant organs of state to provide it with information on the measures that they have taken towards the realization of the rights in the bill of rights concerning housing health care food water social security education and environment i am homeless for the past three years that simply shows you that the department of defense or the judiciary or parliament or any other organ of state that i have approached in the past three years has grossly violated the constitution that is why i am being honest with you in relation to my reality for the incumbent president Cyril Ramaphosa to step down as he does not uphold respect and defend the constitution as the supreme law of the republic as obligated in terms of section 83 of the constitution and since the constitution provides that the south african human rights commission has the powers as regulated by the national legislation necessary to perform its functions including the power to investigate and to report on the observance of human rights to take steps to secure appropriate redress where human rights have been violated to carry out research and to educate and has the additional powers and functions prescribed by national legislation it is not my wish to waste your time but to get you straight into the point of this particular matter drawing from the reality or obligation imposed in terms of this particular preamble it is true that force number double nine double zero four zero four six mc is an asset that must be managed in terms of the public finance management act which provides for to regulate financial management in the national government and provincial governments to ensure that all revenue expenditure assets and liabilities of those governments are managed efficiently and effectively to provide for the responsibilities of persons entrusted with financial management in those governments and to provide for matters connected therewith including payment of salary of sylvester volane mangolele the objects of this particular act are in terms of section 2 which obligates all organs of state to whom this particular act applies to secure transparency accountability and the sound management of the revenue expenditure assets and liabilities 
of the institution to which this act applies. I have on 1 July 2021 written to the Chief of the South African National Defense Force in a submission to return to unit and reinstitution of double nine double zero four zero four six MC Lieutenant Commander Sylvester Volane Mangolele. And I have done this in service and defense of my country and its people. I act in terms of section 195 of the Constitution of the Republic Act 108 of 1996, which in this document would be referred to as the Constitution, and respect the functions of the Chief of the South African National Defense Force in terms of section 14 of the Defense Act obligating compliance to the statutory provisions that the defense force must respect the fundamental rights and dignity of its members and of all persons when we look at section 2g of the defense act section 2g of the defense act brings us to an obligation that is imposed here is section 2G which is the principles which reads that the minister and any organ of state defined in terms of section 239 of the constitution as well as all members of the defense force and any auxiliary service and employees must in exercising any power or performing any duty in terms of this act have regard to the following principles and to take you straight to the principle in question is that the defense force must respect the fundamental rights and dignities of its members and of all persons it is as correctly captured in this particular letter dated 1 July <laughs> excuse me the chief of the defense force needed to do this by providing me and my children with suit a suitable place to live effective immediately as of the 1st of July 2021 already reinstituting immediately payment of my salary including all benefits as of the 1st of July 2021 respecting protecting and promoting and fulfilling my rights enshrined in the Bill of Rights as of 1st July 2021 the chief of the South African National Defense Force you myself and any member of the South African National Defense Force work for the state that must respect protect promote and fulfill the rights in the bill of rights as obligated in terms of section 7 2 of the constitution to engage with me is how you respect protect promote and fulfill my rights enshrined in the bill of rights and stop pushing punishing me for an act committed by other persons and intimidating or coercing me to do or to refrain from doing anything. Severe pain or suffering, both physical and mental, is intentionally inflicted on me. In simple terms, I am tortured, and the opposite of my constitutional guarantees not to be tortured in any way is achieved. I could employ, truly so, I could employ rule 612a of the uniform court rules to resolve this dispute by the application of law decided in a fair public uh, hearing before the high court of the republic of south africa but i am being forced to believe that a person justice Lope, or organ of state judge president must interfere with the functioning of the courts a gross violation of an imposed 
constitutional obligation provided for in terms of section 1655 of the constitution I am forced to believe that it is lawful and acceptable to declare any person a vexatious litigant without hearing such person or granting him an opportunity of being heard as obligated by the statutory provisions of Section 21B of the Vexatious Proceedings Act of 1956. And in any event, the judiciary refuses to apply the provisions of Section 21C of the act and at any time rescind or vary an order so given yet i am forced to believe that the court order is in terms of section 21b and 1c of the vexatious proceedings act i submit that the judiciary is corrupt and it is one critical deadline that must be arrested through immediate directed interventions Please give me a chance to explain and debrief. I am caused to believe that it is wrong to do right and good for the country and its people. And I am forced to believe that it is wrong for to father my children. I am forced to believe that corruption is more powerful than the South African National Defense Force. I am forced to believe that the constitution is not the supreme law of the republic i am forced to believe that it is right or constitutional to be presumed guilty until proven innocent i am caused to believe that no one has the right to represent themselves in court i refuse to believe this false I refuse to believe that it is lawful to arbitrarily or without just cause discharge a person who is simply doing his job to save the Republic hundreds of millions in operational cost. I am without accommodation. I need accommodation. Theoretical differences shall be elaborated in an appropriate, independent, and impartial tribunal or forum, which is the Compensation Board, constituted in terms of Section 57 of the Defense Act. Section 57.2 of the Defense Act provides that any member or former member of the Defense Force who has suffered any damage or loss as a result of an act or omission arising from any training or service under the Defense Act. Whether or not legal proceedings have been or are to be instituted, may in writing apply to the compensation board established by subsection 3 for compensation setting out fully the grounds on which the application is based, the extent and the nature of the damage or loss and the compensation desired. I cannot set out fully the grounds while the reality is that I am without adequate facilities and time to set these particular grounds out fully. I am without salary for the past 34 months as a result of abuse of power and gross violation of the constitution or the law, gross misconduct or inability to perform the functions of office. In the past 34 months, people had operated their office based on personalities and not professionalism. There is a deadline in critical capabilities. In no event did the president notify me in writing of any complaint or charge made against me and of any action proposed to be taken in respect thereof, nor calling upon me to come show cause in relation to my permanent commission being cancelled as obligated in terms of Section 54.3a of the Defense Act. It is disrespectful 
to the authority of the president to refer me as Mr. instead of my rank. In no event was I convicted to imprisonment for a period not exceeding five years following an obligation imposed in terms of Section 105 of the Defense Act as unlawfully and intentionally misrepresented in the DOD PESOL system to, the, uh, to cause me actual or potential prejudice from 8 August 2018. <coughs> In no event was I sentenced to a term of imprisonment by a competent civilian court without the option of a fine or a sentence involving discharge or dismissal was ever imposed upon me under the code of military discipline following an obligation imposed by the statutory provisions of section 591d of the defense act to qualify the letter dated 17 august 2018 an effort to obey the applicable terms number four cable hill road simonstown 7975 of the letter dated 17 august 2018 from the office of the chief of the south african navy so a uniformed member of the south african national defense force unlawfully detained in a civilian prison such act or omission only proves that to believe and to and put to action the first applicable terms of the letter dated 17 august 2018 from sea navy only invites imprisonment security services of the republic consist of a single defense force structured and managed as a disciplined military force whose primary object is to defend and protect the republic its territorial integrity and its people in accordance with the constitution and the principles of international law regulating the use of force when you see section 1991 read with section 200 of the constitution it is these security services i demand peace in my life from i ask that my family suffers no more as a result of the unlawful intentional and serious violation of my dignity farmer which is reputation or corpus which is physical security or privacy. I am a person. I do feel pain. I do hurt. And I do want to be happy raising my family in service and defense of my country and its people. I cannot fail or surrender to corruption, criminal activity, apartheid or misconduct as a senior officer leading thousands of subordinates in the South African National Defense Force and still accountable to all 60 million people in the Republic of South Africa. There is indeed a lot that must be explained and it is correct to perform constitutional obligations diligently and without delay as provided for in, se in section 237 of the constitution. I must admit, this matter is on public domain. The people of the universe await an end to this matter, as I do. I may not mislead you, sir, life goes on each and every day and i have written a sworn statement on 24 february 2021 taking over as the sixth president of the republic i do trust that all people are in jail as a result of a person writing a sworn statement against them equally so in service and defense of my country and its people I did write a sworn statement against the fifth president. That is why this letter is signed by Sylvester Wolane Madala Mangolele as the sixth president of the Republic of South Africa, Lieutenant Commander Papa Ute. The sworn statement that has been made by Sylvester Madala, Volane Madala Mangolele on 24 February 2021 
in defense and protection of the constitution or the law. This was done in defense of and protection of the constitution or the law. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I double nine double zero four zero four six MC Lieutenant Commander Sylvester Volane Mangolele take over as President of the Republic of South Africa pending the dissolution of the Sixth Parliament before expiry of its term as obligated by the provisions of Section 50 of the Constitution. In terms of Section 4 of the Constitution, I declare by proclamation the replacement of the terms let us live and strive for freedom in South Africa, our land, with l the terms let us live and enjoy freedom in the universe, our home. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the supremacy of the Constitution and the rule of law prohibits any form or kind of slavery. And it is only a slave who lives and struggle, attempt or strive for freedom in their land. The Bill of Rights is a cornerstone of democracy in the Republic of South Africa and Lieutenant Commander Sylvester Volane Mangolele is simply fulfilling the obligations imposed in terms of the provisions of Section 13 of the Constitution. And in any event, Lieutenant Commander Sylvester Volane Mangolele does not obey a manifestly illegal order as obligated in terms of Section 1996 of the Constitution read with Section 2E of the Defense Act and the Code of Conduct for Uniform Members of the South African National Defense Force. And from hence forth, I have signed each and every letter I write as President of the Republic of South Africa. The Constitution, in terms of Chapter 9, Section 184, obligates the South African Human Rights Commission to promote respect for human rights and culture of human rights promote the protection, development, and attainment of human rights, and monitor and assess the observance of human rights in the Republic. The South African Human Rights Commission has the powers, as regulated by national legislation, necessary to perform its functions, including the power to investigate and to report on the observance of human rights to take steps to secure appropriate redress where human rights have been violated, as is the case, to carry out research and to educate. The South African Human Rights Commission must educate the Republic of South Africa of the reality of Sylvester Volane Mangolele in respect, protection, promotion and fulfillment of the rights in the Bill of Rights. Each year, the South African Human Rights Commission must require relevant organs of state to provide the Commission with information on the measures that they have taken towards the realization of the rights in the Bill of Rights concerning housing, which is the first thing that I have asked the Chief of Defense Force to provide me with. It is nothing out of the Constitution that I have been saying or asking any other organ of state that I have approached in accordance with the Constitution and the law. What has prevailed to this day, its personalities, Mangolele, I don't like you 
and then because i don't like you i am not going to obey the constitution and the law but hey i will tell these ones hey you know me i obey the constitution and the law and then i tell people that i act in accordance with it as the chief of the south african national defense force and i make all soldiers stand to attention in me yeah and they must listen and pledge themselves to serve and defend the country and its people in accordance with the constitution and the law. But me, General Rosane Mapuanya, I am not going to do that to Sylvester Volane Mangolele as the citizen that is proudly South African and original without wanting other people to advocate on his behalf. I am a shepherd of the constitution and the law. I protect the terms of the Constitution and the law. When the Constitution obligates people to provide other people with housing, that is what must happen. When I have said to you that judges in the High Court were bribed to achieve these current aggravating realities, that is the truth. All that must be done is for a sane sober person who is earning a salary with dignity and integrity must address the issue of Sylvester Volane Mangolele and the Republic of South Africa at large. I am not moved by the actions of Cyril Ramaphosa because he must step down. I have explicitly set it forth that Cyril Ramaphosa stepped down and Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, what does he do? I'm ignoring Mangolele, but eh, I save all people. All people have inalienable rights enshrined in the Bill of Rights except for Mangolele. Mangolele does not have them. Hey, Mangolele, man, Mangolele. That is Ramaphosa's behavior. As a person, I have now personalities with President Ramaphosa, each and every president must uphold, defend, and respect the Constitution as the supreme law of the Republic. When you respect the Constitution, you will lend to this reality that realization of the Bill of Rights concerning housing, health care, food, water, social security, education, and the environment. The South African Human Rights Commission has the additional powers and functions prescribed by national legislation. I will do these functions uh, and that is what the Constitution says about the human rights. And the act, which is the law, that I must act according to, I am doing it. It says here, human rights means the human rights contained in chapter 2 of the Constitution, not the human rights contained in the minds of Vice Admiral Tomong Klongwane and then General Shoke and then Chief Justice Mokhweng Mokhwenge and then uh, Mr. Ramaphosa and then other people uh, that are making sure that hey, Mangolele, Mangolele, no man, Mangolele, we don't want Mangolele. I don't want to be a nightmare upon you people because if I am a nightmare upon you, then South Africa is a nightmare upon you, then we will not have peace and harmony. Only nightmarish thing is. You understand so it is issues where you need to understand how this law interlinks as I have written to you and you need to understand the objects of the Commission as I have set it forth to you and you need to understand the independence and impartiality this is what independence and impartiality means in terms of the South African Human Rights Commission's Act. A commissioner as well as a member of staff must serve impartially. Impartially you must listen to me first. 
when I talk about chickens, I'm talking about chickens. When I talk about general solution, okay, I'm talking about general solution. Okay. When I talk about Vice Admiral Samuel Tongwane, I'm talking about Vice Admiral Samuel Tongwane. When I talk about General Rodzani Mapuanya, I am talking about General Rodzani Mapuanya. Don't find yourself wanting to try to listen. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? No, he can't be talking about these things. No, 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 no. He shall not be talking about these things. People are not supposed to be talking about General Rodzani Mapuanya and him not doing his duties and all that people. I am sane, I am sound, I am explicit and accurate in what I set forth. I never miss, I am the defense force. I defend all of you. I die for all of you. I ask you to respect that fundamental fact and understand that by profession i'm an engineer i understand equal sign i understand equality i know how to solve x i know how to operate simultaneous equations i know how to apply rules where they must be applied the rules of addition are different from the rules of multiplication they are different from the rules of division they are different from the rules of subtraction they are different from the rules of integration they are different from the rules of trigonometry they are different from any other rules and you learn to apply them. And at the end of the day, you must get equal sign. I mean not to be rude or disrespectful. Judges and lawyers are not required to study maths. They are only required to study history. That is a prerequisite for you to study law and then to function as law. And then a lot of people run away from maths because they consider maths to be difficult. Why? Because they can't apply rules. When I go to the high court, I read and apply the respective rules. I never miss a rule. The only thing that has happened to me is persecution. As a result of abuse of power and people hoping that, no, this one, he cannot see it, he will give up. I cannot live a lie. It's like you are expecting me to believe that I am female, whereas I am male. A lie is when I look down there and see, hey, the genitals are those of a male, but I'm expected to believe them to be those of a female. So as to sustain corruption. Corruption Watch is looking at this thing, and then it will have a video link of this thing, just like as you, South African Human Rights Commission, will have a video link of this thing, and you must act within the confines of the terms of this particular video. All I'm asking you as the South African Human Rights is for you to fulfill your obligations to the people of the Republic of South Africa, to myself, to my family, to Nyiko Mangolele, to Aluta Swangelwa, to Leta Kukunana Majila, an 83-year-old woman who is suffering. She does not want to see me. She does not want to hear me explain that, Mama, I have went to the South African Human Rights Commission requesting them to observe my human rights. And they know, hey, they see it as impossible. It's impossible for us to observe your human rights. It's impossible. Yo, 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 yo. You are fighting with General solution. Okay, no, we can't. We can't. He's not people equal before the law. Don't tell me that crap. I mean, don't tell me that crap. And I say this with respect because I am angry. I am angry to have seen the state fail for the past three years. I am angry to have been caused to, 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 to believe things that are incorrect 
I am forced to believe that I must not get the salary simply because Vice Admiral Samuel Songwani and General Solishoke have lied on the per DOD personal system to say Mangolele is imprisoned. And I will take you because you are the South African Human Rights Commission. The South African Human Rights Commission, you will get this particular reality when you look at the DOD PESOL system. Don't listen to people. They are scared of me. I understand that particular reality. They don't want anything to do with me. And I understand that particular reality. But then I cannot derogate from my constitutional obligations. The address that I was referring you to is this particular address. It's a transition mode from this to that. To follow these terms in this letter, to go to this address, you know, every time, even 10 years to come, when you open this letter, it will show you this is the address of Mangolele. To go to this address here. People, I go to jail. And I'm found guilty to go to this address here. This is the letter by Vice Admiral Samuel Shongwane dated 17 August 2018. The letter that I've referred to, to the letter of General Rodzani Mwapwanya, whom I've written to as the first office that I have reported to when I came out of jail. Formally so. In the DOD PESOL system, this is what you will find as the South African Human Rights Commission. You will find that it is written that Mangolele, the application reason for his discharge is section 105, which is offensive behavior. When you go to the statute, and then this was on 8 August, and you as Human Rights Commission, you must understand that this 8 August was as a result of a letter from a, a letter from General Solishoke as the chief of the defense force. Yes, General Solishoke and 8 August saying, yeah, recommended in paragraph 5, approved. He approved the recommendation in paragraph 5. And Chief Human Resource, Lieutenant General N. Yongen, Yengen, this person must go to jail. They did not follow the law. It's as simple as that. There's no two ways about it. The same as applies to KC Mutabani, Chief Director, Human Resource Management, Major General. He must also go to jail. There's no two ways about it. The Chief Directorate recommends that an administrative authority be granted for administrative discharge of double nine double zero four zero four six LT com uh, Lieutenant Commander Sylvester Volane Mangualele with immediate effect. This is what had happened. But here, when you look at all this particular letter, there is no way where they say Lieutenant Commander Mangolele was convicted for, 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 for to, 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 to imprisonment for a term not exceeding five years. They are just only talking speculations, and I will not read this thing for the sake of time of the video, but you can pause the video and then look at this particular letter. This particular letter comes from a uh, rear admiral makanya whom he said it was urgent on 26 july to send it to the chief of defense chief of defense were from 26 27 28 29 30 and then uh, come to the 8th of july the chief of defense acted but me from 1st of july 2020 to uh, to the 6th of a uh, 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 to the 6th of august 20 to i mean first of july 2021 to the 6th of august 2021 i am not serving i'm not serviced you will read this so this is what had happened and then this follows this and i want to you guys to take notice of something of the trend of what had happened here 18 june rear 2018 Rear Admiral Machimani requested administrative discharge from the South African Navy of Mangolele. He did this. He told everybody, I will again 
make this thing available for you when you pause it you will be able to read it nicely he says yeah hey mangolele blah 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 he's talking everything about mangolele and then he says for action it must be chief human resource and then for info it must be chief south african national defense force and flag officer fleet but nowhere here does it say mangolele but people are talking about me do you understand this particular reality people are talking about me mangolele but they are not doing anything to inform mangolele as of 18 of june and then they continue continue that was chief of the south african navy vice admiral samuel Songwan. he's not any other person who said that without me knowing and then i'm wondering hey what is happening and on 21 june discussion between chief of the south african national defense force chief of the navy senior staff legal senior staff officer legal chief of the sndf's office let's stop here there is a pso in the office of the chief of the south african national defense force general rosani mapuanya i am of the opinion that this current pso is the same person listed in this particular letter and this person is doing everything in his power to make sure that i never get to see or speak to general rosani mapuanya as the current new chief of defense force who must function in terms of section 14 of the defense act he is playing goalkeeper because he's afraid that he will be found out to say yeah you were there you were involved and then you are legally qualified as the pso of the chief of the south african national defense force yet you did not obey the law so every time i phone the office of patients blending on 0123556003 and the office of the pso on 0123556002 to say i want an audience an urgent audience with general rosani mapuanya such is not happening and the aggravating reality of this particular matter is that people that were appointed like yesterday as the new ministers and stuff like that such appointments were unlawful because the current living president of the republic of south africa is myself and Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa must step down. He's refusing. When I mean parliament, I understand that I mean all 400 members of parliament. They must go. It's not a lie. I do this in service and defense of my country and its people. Parliament is accountable to the people. But parliament refuses to account to the people by removing advice that uh, uh, by removing this particular person uh, Cyril Ramaphosa in terms of section 89 it is only the National Assembly that can constitutionally remove the president in terms of section 89 to get to the National Assembly I have to knock knock knock, knock. Mr. Caso, you are the secretary of the National Assembly. You are responsible for everything. I come to you in terms of section 56 of the Constitution. Section 56 of the Constitution obligates you to call any other person to come and answer. Hey, 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 they are talking about you here. They are saying that you are not the fifth president. You are not the president anymore. You must step down. Come and answer, Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa, come and answer. That is exactly what must happen. That's why. I come to you as a statutory functional body, not a personal body. Because yes, people do get scared. Uh, you want to remove Ramaphosa? <laughs> Mufasa, <laughs> Mufasa, <laughs> something like that. I'm not in that particular game. I serve and defend the country and its people in accordance with the constitution and the law, and with honor, dignity, courage, and integrity. I ask you, as the South African Human Rights Commission to act in accordance with your mandate. End the pain and suffering of my family. 
I as a person I'm, 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 I'm finished I stand as the South African National Defense Force and refuse to allow corruption criminal activity apartheid and misconduct to delay our democracy Cyril Ramaphosa must go it's not a lie it's not a lie it's not a lie it is not and somebody must stand up to him i have asked the deputy president in terms of section 91 of the constitution to say you can i have asked the members of parliament to step in i have i have removed Cyril ramaphosa a long time ago i am just being denied action in accordance with the constitution and the law there is no doubt in what I am doing. There is no doubt in what I am saying. You may not see it now. You hear it. You understand each term that I'm advancing to you. You understand that Cyril Ramaphosa subjects everybody else to live and struggle, attempt or strive for freedom in South Africa our land whereas I as the sixth president I want everybody else to live and enjoy freedom in the universe our home that is the distinction between myself as the sixth president and the fifth president it is not a lie let's come and focus on facts rebalance and reorganize the Defense Force as a foundation for future growth as obligated in terms of milestone 2 of the South African Defense Review 2014. An act of parliament obligating all soldiers, including myself, to arrest the deadline in critical capabilities through immediate directed interventions. I will take you to school through that. I can show you the South African Defense Review. I can show you. I've studied those things. I can read. Eh? I study a lot and I understand exactly what, just like I have read you as the South African Human Rights Commission. The only thing that you must do is remove personalities and the lies that you heard about me and what, 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 and do your job. You do your job as of the 6th of August 2021 in relation with the name Sylvester Volani Madala Mangolele. <clears throat> so the PSO of the Chief of Defense Force is playing goalkeeper here. This PSO, I have already cross-examined this particular PSO, a, a senior staff officer legal at Navy HQ. This is Captain Peters, the very same person who has written this particular letter. He told the court on record that the Navy does not care about my children. I was infuriated, yet I had to become come the record of the first court from Cape to Cairo in the African continent will tell you that. All you have to do is just request for the transcripts of that particular thing. And then I will request for those transcripts, put them in the book, and then so that the children for future generations to come will see the lies that are told by Vice Admiral Samuel Longwani who's been lying to them saying hey I am the chief of the people's navy the chief of the people's navy does not want people to do their jobs him and General Solishoke and uh, they are two lawyers if you see a senior staff officer legal it's the senior staff officer legal of the chief of the South African National Defense Force. That's a lawyer of the chief of defense force. And the senior staff officer legal of Navy HQ, that's a lawyer of chief Navy. All these four people on 20 June when I was unlawfully evicted and then being granted an address that is so aggravating on the streets. Because 
And I think I must, I must, I must, I must, I must, I must take you to this so that you can be able to solve this thing realistically and then you know exactly what you are solving. <laughs> Let me take you to this thing. And quickly. <coughs> Where's the other presentation? Oh, Jesus Christ. The Lord is good, you know. And you must understand that the Lord lives through you and in you and is with you. You are actually the Lord. Even you as the South African Human Rights Commission, you will be the Lord in this particular matter. The Lord is everyone. The Lord is good all the time. And all the time, the Lord is good. I'm being carried away. Let me come back to what we were discussing. Because I just only wanted to show you for the sake of this particular video. Because I understand many people would say, no, but uh, what, 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 what. And I have to assume that you do not know anything as uh, uh, the South African Human Rights Commission. Even though you know that we have engaged before in the past and then you have decided to support individuals and not the constitution and the law and to achieve this particular matter but that will be discussed at the later stage what you must do now as of 6th august 2021 is to secure the fundamental human rights of sylvester volani madala mangolele as a person as a citizen in the Republic of South Africa, obligated to act in terms of the Constitution and build our country going forward. In this background, you will find whatever that these people have said, they have said everything that I was in the Cape Agas and what, what, you will post this thing. And the crux of uh, my alleged dismissal is this. When a person goes to, say, Chief of the South African National Defense Force, General Solishoke, which in English, stop disrespecting me, stop taking me for a ride, or trash, so they say. It's in Shangan. My name is Mangolele, Sylvester Volani, if you do not know for that matter. What kind of a boss are you who does not do his job? I can ask this question in a thousand different ways and it will be still the same question. I can say, what kind of a boss who does not do your job? The, what kind of a boss who, who does not do his job? What kind of a boss are you? Or what kind of a boss are you? It can come out in any way. But the bottom line that comes out is the question. What kind of of a boss are you who does not do his job why do we spend sleepless nights doing our job trying to protect this south africa and you are sitting there in your own office not doing your job eh, for saying that eh, 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 this person must live on the streets eh, this person must not get salary this person's children must not oh just for, for for asking that just for asking that the rest you will see and then i said we call upon you to come and do your job when i speak i speak for my subordinates whom I lead. And it is thousands of them. It is thousands of them. And I s emphasized that I myself call upon you to come and do your job. I am not scared of you. I am a man. And I hope you are unless you are a female but in this particular context i said unless you are in kwe in kwe in kosa it's an un uncircumcised boy and i'm an uncircumcised boy in kosa and in its culture and its tradition cannot do the job of men that is why i emphasized again that if you are in Kwenkwe, you will continue sitting and ignore this video. 
and truly that's what he did because the video was talking about the same goes to the chaplain general who must do his job chaplain general is the chaplain is mfundisi let me tell you something about mfundisi or let me tell you something about the defense force that you don't understand the chaplain is mfundisi the chaplain as umfundisi is a person who when a soldier is at war is sent to the family of a soldier and then pray with the family of the soldier at war and then encourage and strengthen the morale of the family of a soldier who is at war these chaplains are headed by a chaplain general these chaplains they follow the orders of a chaplain general and they execute the mandate of a chaplain general chaplain general was asked to go and inform my grandmother that granny hey i your son is in trouble he's calling senior officers to come and account in court of law your son wants justice to prevail in the south african national defense force your son wants justice harmony peace and operational effectiveness in the defense force your son Gugu Mamajila is doing good for the country and its people that is what i requested the chaplain general to go and do and then to make sure that my grandmother gets to meet my son Nico Nico is just only less than 30 kilometers away from my grandmother but my grandmother has not seen Nico for ages intentionally deliberately so simply because organs of state are not fulfilling their respective mandates chaplains are there in the defense force to strengthen our morale and strengthen our families and then ensure that we fight and win in service and defense of the republic of south africa there's nothing personal in there you don't have to like me it's like you as a doctor i come to you as a doctor you don't have to like me as a doctor you need to understand this person is sick and then i have this ability as a doctor to fix this person just like you south african human rights commission you don't have to like me I am a person you must do your job to a person remove personalities amen glory be to god i mean not to be rude i love my god and uh, i mean not to impose you because i was talking to you about chaplain generals and chaplain generals they are there in all religions we've got muslim chaplains we've got christian chaplains we've got hindu chaplains we've got islam chaplains we've got all chaplains that we are there and they are all under this person so when i say chaplain general do your job i mean it you must do your job and i cannot be begging you to be doing your job as a chaplain general you must pray for the people of the country and the soldiers that is your job no i i lo mfano ya telela remove telela there's no telela here i asked general solishoke that i hope he is a man and i said this on 15 apparently june 2018 before the eviction this is apparently what has led to my unlawful eviction because when the sheriff came to my house he did not come with a court order he came with a letter that i have written to president cyril ramaphosa to inform him president cyril ramaphosa your administration is failing your administration your administration it includes the judiciary because you also appoint 
the judges as the president it is failing and in any event as the president you are my commander in chief as your subordinate it, 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 there's no two ways about that south african human rights commission i am saying this such that you understand the impetus of this matter I am saying this such that you understand the only thing that you must do is to act in accordance with your mandate and constitutional obligations. Fulfill them and you will see South Africa will go far places. I stand here as the sixth president with the slogan, Charity Begins at Home. Equality must be achieved in all corners of South Africa. Equality must be achieved in all corners of South Africa. Equality starts, by res starts with you respecting the farmer who makes sure that you get the potato that you are eating on your chips simba chips fish and chips 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 that potato comes from a hand of a farmer respect that farmer because without that farmer you will not have that potato it is as simple as that respect the fundamental human rights of all people respect their dignity and respect their integrity and the dignity of the farmers includes all people in the rural areas who are expected to be using pit toilets with me as president the pit toilet system will end we shall and yes we shall build sewages in rural areas that supports rural areas for rural areas to have running water and flushing toilets. I refuse. I say this because I come from a rural area in Mohokhelo. Mohokhelo village in Amanskral. It's a rural area. We use pit toilets there. And having gone through what I have gone through, I do not want to teach Aluta, Songelwa, and the Nyiko Mangolele to be digging a, a, a toilet hole somewhere after I die. No, I want them to have to know one toilet as a person in an urban area or in a township area or in a city area knows a toilet to be at one place. And then after they are done with their business with dignity, they flush it away. Yet the people in the rural areas with indignity, they are forced to look back. Hey, 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 it's like this. It's, 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 in, it's, it's, it's not right. And for it to happen, it requires the president to stand up. And Ramaphosa and many other president do not have the vision that I have. And then the vision that I have, it will not be the president as if I will be the president for a year or something like that. I'm only being the president pending the dissolution of the nation and the, of the sixth parliament before expire of its term. And then thereafter, the Republic of South Africa will vote in their new president as allowed by the constitution effectively i must only be president for only 30 days truly so that is when we follow the constitution and the rule of law to the t 30 days not too long and that is what i intend doing because i don't intend to be president then na people now nah, i'm a fun loving person i love fun i love people i'm a simple people and i love working and then i love serving people and then i love making difficult things to look simple as i have made this particular video look simple for you i say again I am in this particular situation as a result of this particular uh, averments in the video. And these particular averments, I want you to understand them as true as they are. They are true. 
when I said the same goes to the chaplain general who must do his job and he is not doing his job. My grandmother is suffering there because you chaplain general are sitting not doing your job. My grandmother did not know what is happening with my son. What is hap Even now my grandmother did not know that I was in jail for the past six months. She will die if she knew. She is suffering because of lack of observance to my fundamental human rights. South African Human Rights Commission, my community in Mohokelo, my community in Kuma location, my family, my children, my country and its people are suffering as a result of this one simple act. <coughs> so, like I have shown you, That is the truth of things. And then I have called SA, the SABC to air this particular matter. The SABC did not come because they are false to their impartiality and independence. Which leads us back again to these particular things. So whatever that these people have done on the 20th and then doing whatever for action, it was these particular people, SSO legal support, senior staff officer legal support, office of the chief of the South African National Defense Force and then for info, office of the Navy and DNP and internal. Oh, basically what had happened here. SSO Neval Peterse was writing minutes. These are the minutes of the discussion between these four. And then whatever that they have discussed, it was between them and between them they did not inquire, bother to let me know what is happening. So South African Human Rights Commission, you will see that people were talking about Sylvester Mangolele, but then they did not tell Sylvester Mangolele what they were talking about, and they did this, this numerously so. And doing so numerously, it is an issue where you will have to understand that uh, I am dragged in a situation uh, that is undesirable. I will continue impartially. So you've heard me when it comes to impartially. And independently, independently, it's in accordance with your mandate. You are not a doctor that will open me, my surgery and my heart and look at the issues of my heart. You are a doctor who will deal with my fundamental human rights. And fundamental human rights does not include you opening me as the South African uh, Human Rights Commission. And exercise or perform his or her powers and function in good faith and without fear. So you will not fear General Rosani Mapwanya. You will not favor General Rosani Mapwanya. You will not bias me or prejudice myself. And you will subject yourself only to the Constitution and the law. When the Constitution says a person must have housing, that is what must happen with Sylvester Volane Mangolele. No, Hana Hanas, please. Don't say no, Mangolele, continue to live on the streets or make a plan. Go live somewhere, go live somewhere, go live somewhere. And all that you will be doing, you will be ignoring the fundamental fact that a decision was taken to place my staff on the streets. On the streets is where people expect me to live as a result of their decision. If you expected uh, Sylvester Volane Mangolele to live in a place, you would have taken that person to that place. So let us not insinuate things that are not there. Let us deal with the reality that you are living on the streets as per the order of Cyril Ramaphosa. May you not use the position or privileges of commissioner as a member of staff for private gain or to benefit another person improperly. It, this is what has been happening all along, all along, private gain and improperly. Look at uh, uh, Captain Fore, who was captain uh, so many years, so few years ago, now is two star. Look at the uh, 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 rear admiral. 
uh, Lubisi, who has been rear admiral one star for so long because he's not friends with these people they cast him aside because he's doing right by mangolele hey they cast him aside you must not do right by mangolele you must do wrong people are so proud of doing wrong to mangolele and this must end all organs of state must afford the commission such assistance as may be reasonably required for the protection of the independency your independence is your statutory obligation impartiality is what i am telling you in this video and dignity of the commission is what everybody expects you in pursuit of your objects the objects are there to promote respect for human rights and the culture of human rights to promote the protection and development and attainment of human rights and to monitor and assess the observance of human rights this thing is interlocked no organ of state including the defense force and no member or employee of an organ of state including the pso of the of general rosani mapanya who is refusing me access of state may uh, or any other person may interfere with hinder or obstruct the commission or any person a member of staff or a person appointed under section 11 1 or 19 5 in the exercise or performance of its or his or her powers and functions south african human rights commission i come to you as an absolute sovereign person and i come to you in accordance with the cons co co constitution and the law the constitution it's in terms of this particular section that regulates your conduct or that establishes you and then this is what regulates your conduct no second commissioner or member of staff <coughs> may conduct an investigation or render assistance with regard here to in respect of a matter in which he or she has any pecuniary or any other interest which might preclude him or her from exercising or performing his or her powers and function in a fair unbiased and proper manner if any commissioner or member of staff fails to disclose an interest contemplated in subsection 4 and conducts or renders assistance with regards to investigation while having interest so contemplated in the matter being investigated the commission may take such steps as it deems necessary to ensure a fair unbiased and proper investigation in the interest of transparency and accountability a commissioner must in the manner determined by the commission annually disclose his or her financial interest in any other interest determined by commission which information must be as accessible to the public you see transparency must be fostered to the pub by providing the public timely accurate and accessible information so good people i ask this from the commission and then i have shown the commission this particular reality and then just in case you are in doubt as a commission of what section 105 of the defense act says i will take you to section 105 again as i have taken other organs of state to section 105 and this thing will not end until you as the south african Co human rights commission act in accordance with your mandate and help me end the pain and suffering that my family currently endures offensive behavior again you will pause this thing and look at it i will just only explain what is necessary conviction to imprisonment not exceeding five years Uh, liable on conviction to imprisonment not exceeding five years this is what is implied that i am convicted to imprisonment not exceeding five years when you write 
on the pestle system for everyone to come and see about Mangolele. You are saying Mangolele is in prison for a period not exceeding five years. Yeah, me, Vice Admiral Samuel Tongwane, I serve and defend the country and its people in accordance with the constitution and the law and the law i say to you that mango lele is in prison for a period not exceeding five years yes 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 that is the message i'm not in prison right now and i was never convicted and i was never the accused in terms of section 105 that is what you will find so the nonsense that is happening there in the office of the chief of the South African National Defense Force is just only pure sustenance of criminal activity, corruption, and misconduct. And then the people that are sustaining such misconduct must be arrested and go to jail. It's as simple as that in service and defense of the country and its people. We cannot have criminals in public offices. We cannot especially in the defense force which must be managed as a disciplined military force this is no lie this is the truth this is what i am presenting to you the truth only the truth I have no time to waste and I try to run away from the painful situation because it is painful to explain pain. You have to remember the pain as it was. If you had a thorn in your foot and you took it out and it was painful to take it out, you have to remember that particular pain. And in remembering that particular pain, it is painful. So I did not do anything outside the context, the powers and functions of the chairperson. You know it. I will not drag it. All that I am saying is that please do your job and then I will be happy people. And then South Africa will be happy people investigations by commission yeah, you can investigate the south african human rights commission don't say hi we can't help you mangolele go to court no or uh, go to police or uh, go wherever just don't come to us as the commission i'm coming to you commission for you to end this and i will not go anywhere save to the public protector again and then the public protector will also, in fact, I am now even now going to the public protector, even in this particular video. I will simply send them a link and then say, public protector, protect me and ensure that the South African Human Rights Commission goes to General Rosani Mwapwanya and tells General Rosani Mwapwanya to pay my salary effective immediately. Immediately is immediately. We don't even have to wait for next week, honestly speaking, because the South African National Defense Force is on duty 24-7. The human rights are on duty 24-7. Human violations happens 24-7, and then the rectification there too, it happens 24-7. The courts are also available 24-7. It's just that people are driving their respective offices with personalities pursuant to the provisions of subsection 13.3 the commission may in order to enable it it to exercise its powers and perform its functions conduct or cause to be conducted any investigation that is necessary for that purpose and all in your investigations these are the findings that you will find in your investigations arrest the people Arrest the people, Lou. Arrest the people. It is in line with arresting the deadline in critical capabilities through immediate directed interventions. It is an act of parliament. It is a statutory function of the defense force as per the South African Defense Review 2014 in terms of milestone one. 
I am in this video reorganizing and rebalancing the defense force as a foundation for future growth and defense force as a foundation for future growth will not and it will not have corruption in it i emphasize this reality to you as the south african human rights i have called mr chris nissen yesterday and then he said we can meet today unfortunately i don't have money to go to town honestly the resources that i am using to air this video to you are that of my friend who understood my reality and then allowed me to employ his resources in terms of internet and other things but basically people i am suffering mr chris Nissen, you are in the Western Cape, a commissioner of the Western Cape. I ask you to do your job. Go to General Rosani Mapuanya and tell him to pay my salary. If he does not want to pay my salary, arrest General Rosani Mapuanya for failing to perform his constitutional obligations. That's all that must happen. Arrest the decline in critical capabilities through immediate directed interventions. I humble myself before all of you fellow South Africans by the task before us. We have a duty to our children. We have a duty to our people. Our people includes your grandmother, great-grandmother, great-great-uncle, uncle, aunt, brother, sister, a every other person, any offspring that you can name, auntie, nephew, niece, whatever, whatever, those are the people that I serve and defend. And I do this with honor courage and integrity i ask you to call me on 084-835-9161 and tell me mangolele we are doing our job you will be assisted as an equal person before the law your family will suffer no more. Your children will suffer no more. Our country and its people will suffer no more. I am asking you to be realistic to the terms. I have done this acting in terms of the Constitution. And I will take you back again to this particular Constitution and then show you what I deal with. When you take into consideration Section 199, five of the constitution in chapter 11 of the constitution it obligates all security personnel to act in accordance with the constitution and the law i did not digress from my duties i have always upheld the supremacy of the constitution and the rule of law and respected all people. The security in court, they will tell you the truth. Especially the security of the Pretoria High Court, they will tell you the truth. And at the same breath, I thank them for respecting me as a person. The security at Western Cape High Court, they will tell you the truth. 
that I am like this. Yes, the things that I talk about are scary and they scare people. Sir, President Cyril Ramaphosa right now does not believe that a citizen of the Republic of South Africa wants him constitutionally out of office. And that citizen is one unique citizen who cannot try toy who cannot be going around asking people, vote for me as president, vote for me as president. I cannot. It is that citizen who defends what the law says. If the law says the president must uphold, respect, and defend the constitution, that is what Cyril Ramaphosa must do. If he's not doing that, he must get out of office, as he has not done. We cannot run state with personalities. Literally, we cannot. We cannot. So, when you look at the establishment, structuring and conduct of security services, it is in terms of the Constitution. Chapter 11, security services. That is the chapter that I'm telling you to. National security is subject to the authority of parliament and national executive. When you understand the fullest nature of this, we will end up having to sit here where the Chief Justice, Mokweng Mokweng, will be fired by this uh, parliament and all the six parliament will be fired by this thing. We need to engage our brains and then come to a solution. I have all the solutions. All that you have to do is to listen to me and respect what I am saying because what I am saying, it comes from a full study of this right up until section 243 of this particular thing. And then I say 243 because it is indeed that section 243 is the last section of the constitution. I know the constitution like a back of my hand. I know that it's got all its schedules. And all these particular schedules are simply in number, I think it's seven of them, if I'm not wrong. Yes. <laughs> so, <coughs> trust in me, have faith in me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am privileged to serve you as the country and its people. And I am privileged to come to you as the South African Human Rights Commission and ask you to act in accordance with the Constitution and the law. I have done this publicly. This matter is on Facebook. My children, their children's children, will know about this matter. History is done. And while history has its eyes looking at me, I am looking into the future of the country and its people. I respect all of you, and I thank you in advance. Papa Oteng.